You ready? Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video today and just kind of like rant. Um, I guess we can call the segment tea with tea in. You can really drink whatever you want. You don't have to drink tea. You can drink coffee. You can drink, you can drink whatever you want, whatever you feel like. So story time. I do have a Tumblr and you know, I just post random comic book stuff and random, really my Tumblr doesn't have a theme. It's just pretty random. Whatever I like, I'll reblog. So, uh, but most of it you'll find just like artwork from comic book artists or uh, gifts of movies I like or you know, things like that. And it really struck me to something that happened today, actually. Um, I I reblogged a gift set of uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi. And for those of you who don't know me, I am not a fan of the Star Wars franchise. Um, I know that, you know, it's... I know that it, you know, a lot of people love it and that's, that's, that's really great. It just doesn't speak to me the same way that it may speak to a lot of people. Um, so I wasn't a huge fan of The Last Jedi for many reasons. A lot of that had to do with the story itself and the lack of character development in it. Um, but anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. The point of the story is that I reblogged this gift set of The Last Jedi and I, you know, I, I made a comment underneath when I reblogged it saying that, you know, people only, I was joking by the way, I was like, people only like Star Wars because of the visuals, because the gift set itself was pretty nicely done. You know, they picked some pretty cool shots from the movie. And so I was like, oh, people uh, only like Star Wars because of the visuals and the movie is trash though. Um, and so while I thought it was a joke, uh, I guess to the creator of the gift set, it was taken seriously. And uh, what ended up happening was she sent me a message saying fuck off and um, blocked me. And I guess, I guess I was a little taken aback because I didn't really think it was that deep of an issue because I was just voicing my opinion. But here's the thing and herein lies the problem that I have and what's happening with our culture. A lot of people are afraid of confrontation. Um, me, I like to hear other people's opinions. I am not one to shy away from anyone's opinion. Your opinion, you are completely entitled to it. Um, I'm very opinionated, so, I mean, obviously I do put videos out there uh, for people to see, but uh, I feel like we are moving in this direction where, uh, you know, if you don't like a person's opinion, you just block them, you just block them. And I guess for me, it would have been more effective instead of sending me a message saying, fuck off, it would have been more effective if that person actually asked me, why don't you like Star Wars? And we could have had a discussion about it, a conversation. And I guess, again, not everyone is the same. You know, she's, he or she, I don't know who was behind the account, but they're entitled to do whatever they want. It's their blog. Um, you know, they created the gift set. But for me, in my personal experience, you know, I've made gift sets, I've made posts on Tumblr, and um, you know, they've reached like 40,000 likes in her blogs. And never once have I ever gone in the comment section and blocked someone because of what they said. Because that's why I posted it. I post things so I can hear feedback from anyone and because I think it's cool, but maybe someone else doesn't think it's cool. So, I guess I'm just ranting because it was a little, I was taken aback. I was taken aback because I don't understand how we've gotten to this point where we just are afraid of confrontation and we're afraid of, you know, mixing the pot, you know? And, and I think it's kind of interesting that, you know, you have two types of people nowadays, you know, you have people with, that are they're fighting for all these things that are very vocal about things. And I think that that's, you can learn a lot from people like that. They're vocalizing their opinions. There's nothing wrong with that. And then there's other types of people that are just afraid of confrontation, like any confrontation. And uh, where's the discourse, you know? Like people are just afraid of the discourse. And I think that that's a weird culture that we live in. It's like you're you're either on one side where you, you just give your opinion for everything, too much of your opinion, or you just don't do it at all. And you're afraid of people who have different opinions than you. So 
it just, it took me back. So, um, <sighs> okay, so going back to Star Wars, um, I understand being a part of a fandom myself. You know, I consider myself part of the Marvel fandom and the Marvel craze. I, I, I drink that Kool-Aid. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I love Marvel. Uh, but I've always loved Marvel. I've, I read comics as a kid and it's just, it's weird. It's a coincidence that like we're living in a timeline where it's popular and, um, but that's my experience. And I know that a lot of people don't have that experience, um, with Marvel and they might like Star Wars a little bit more. There's a lot of people like both, you know, there's, there's enough room to like anything you want. Um, so I understand that people are very protective of their fandom. They're very, you know, they take ownership of it and they don't like when people come in and interject their opinions about it because, or, or, or trash their, the things they like. And I understand that. I completely understand that. At the same time, you have to acknowledge that most people aren't going to like the things you like let alone have the exact opinion as you. You know, I know people who didn't like Black Panther. I loved Black Panther and they hated it. I'm not gonna go to their front door with pitchforks and, you know, torches and, and you know, make them love what I love. Like, you love what I love. It's like, no, you know, like you just accept people for who they are, you accept them for what they believe and you know what, you can love what you love. It's not gonna hurt me at the end of the day if someone doesn't, they think that, oh, Black Panther, is a bad movie. I know in my heart, I enjoyed it. It's a good movie in my, you know, and, and, and that's the thing. Everything is, you know, everything is subjective, you know, and that goes for everything. That goes for music, movies, comics, anything. Everything is based on your personal perception and experience. And so I think that it's, you can learn a lot from people who don't share the same experience as you. So I don't know. I guess for me, I don't, not the one. I'm not the type to shy away from negative comments or, or anything like that because I know who I am. And I think that, I, if anything, it's those bad comments I wanna hear before the good ones, you know? That's how we grow as people. You learn to take punches growing up. And I know that maybe most people, some people didn't have that experience. Some people are more sheltered or a little bit more reserved, but I think we can learn a lot from, you know, uh, a discourse, you know? <laughs> so bring the discourse, you know? I'm gonna keep my, keep my cool and drink my way through any experience. That's my advice to you kids. Drink your way through any experience. You can get through it. Adulthood, adulthood, drink your way through it. I'm being serious, it sucks. But anyway, uh, I just need to rant because, yeah, I just, I don't understand some things and I need people to, and maybe this was a wake up call for me. Maybe this was me, a wake up call for me that I don't need to give my opinion on certain things. No, nah, that wasn't it. I'm never going to stop fighting for things that I believe in. Uh, and you shouldn't either. That's the takeaway. Yeah, sure, there's a block button and there's an easy way to getting out of a situation, but don't be a dick, okay? Don't message someone who has a differing opinion than you and tell them to fuck off or anything like that. Like, people, come on now. Like, we're, we're all grown. If you ain't grown, you grown. Like, you, you understand that at least. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'll probably post some other stuff more stuff uh, later this week or next week. I don't know. I got a job, dude. <laughs> I do this whenever I can. But thanks for tuning in. T and T. Or T with T in. Out. Yeah.